He is the WWE's most famous wrestler. But the WWE and Hulk Hogan are now parting ways over racist slurs Hogan has heard repeating over and over on recently released audio tapes. Here is CNN's Jason Carroll. There's all kind of Hulkamaniacs running wild. That's why. Wrestling superstar Hulk Hogan got a smackdown from World Wrestling Entertainment, firing the WWE star after he was heard repeating the N word in a racist rant. According to Radar Online and the National Enquirer, Hogan is heard on the tape, which was recorded in 2006, talking about his daughter Brooke, who he accused of sleeping with an African American. I mean, I am a racist to a point. But then, when it comes to nice people and shit and whatever, then says, I mean, I'd rather if she was going to fuck some, shit, I'd rather have her marry an eight foot tall shit worth a hundred million dollars, like a basketball player. Guess we're all a little racist. Shit. Hogan's rant captured during his performance in a secretly recorded sex tape, and he's suing Gawker to try to stop the online website from releasing it. Hogan responded Friday in a statement saying, It was unacceptable for me to have used that offensive language. There is no excuse for it, and I apologize for having done it. I am disappointed with myself that I use language that is offensive and inconsistent with my own beliefs. It is not who I am. Jason Carroll, thank you. Let me bring in uh, wrestling insider Dave Meltzer. He's the editor of WrestlingObserver.com. Dave, thanks for coming on. Good to see you, bro. Uh, before we get into, you know, sort of the, the details of this whole thing, I mean, I just want you to hammer home for all of us. Like, when, when we say Hulk Hogan, this guy is like, you know, as we said, an icon in WWE history. You say Hulk Hogan, you know. You know who he is. Well, he's the, he's the most recognizable name in pro wrestling um, of this generation. And it's, you know, all over the world. And um, yeah, it's it's for the last 35 years, depending on where you live. I mean, he's been if you're a wrestling fan, he's been a major part of the, the industry. But he, he's he's well bigger than the industry in, in many different ways, too. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. And how have people, I guess, both just like wrestling fans in general, but also, you know, some of his supporters, i.e. the Dennis Rodmans, how have they reacted to this whole this whole story? It's been a mix. I think a lot of people were pretty offended by it. You're going to, Hogan is always, you know, when you have a super big celebrity like this, you're always going to have people who are going to support them, um, you know, or, or excuse, make excuses for them or something like that. So he is going to have his supporters and there's going to be people, there's a generation of people who grew up with him that don't want to let go of that, those memories. So they're going to, they're going to want to get past him and forget about this. Hogan, you know, he's he's kind of like been a cat with nine lives anyway. He's been in trouble and he's been down and out before and he always comes back. So I'm not writing him off forever, but this is going to be his toughest challenge to come back from this one. I mean, a cat with nine lives, I mean, I think you even said it to one of my producers earlier. It's one thing to have, and I'm not saying you know, anyone, like take a steroid scandal and that's one thing. But this, this is big. Yeah, it's, it's huge because it, 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 it's it's huge, not just in wrestling. I mean, it's, it's huge in wrestling because WWE wouldn't want to be associated with that because they're trying to promote themselves as family entertainment but on the flip side hogan's other income which is having to do with you know doing commercial endorsements and things like that i mean who's going to have him right now do that i mean it's going to be a long time now he did come back and he did commercial endorsements after you know the thing with his uh with his son getting in the wreck and him saying some things that on the phone that that got out that he didn't know um he, the, you know the steroid thing you know where he you know essentially told everyone he didn't use steroids then it came out he was using them for for forever basically so but yeah this one's bad because it's he basically said he was a racist so there's no ambiguous thing of well he said a remark that he didn't really mean even though of course yeah. that's what he's going to say yeah. now um you know it, it was it was in private he didn't know he was being filmed i mean that's the unfortunate part but he said it and uh, it's going to be it's going to be real tough for this guy to be a pitch man for commercials and that's what he's made a lot of his money on you know since his actual wrestling days are over mm -hmm. Final question. I'm just curious. Who who is wrestling's biggest star, right now? It depends on what you're talking about. I mean, the biggest star overall would be Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Although he's only a part time wrestler, he only wrestles a couple times a year. The biggest star, as far as full time wrestlers go, that would be John Cena. Okay, Dave Meltzer. Thank you so much, editor of WrestlingObserver.com. Thank you. Very welcome. Coming up, Lost at Sea.